Many parents ask us about the atropine eye drops that we compound here at Town & Country Pharmacy. They do need to be compounded because it's a very low strength. Atropine eye drops are available in a higher strength, typically commercially, but for this use of myopia in children, they have to be used at a much lower strength. When we first started compounding these, many strengths we did not have a study on, and we could only dispense a 30-day supply, and they would have to be frozen. And sometimes you may have experienced receiving it this way, where you would get 10 vials from the bottle in, in the little bag, 10 vials, and you would freeze nine, use one. But here at Town & Country, we've invested in drug studies where we've proven that our eye drops will maintain potency and be stable and sterile for six months. So now we're very happy to be able to offer a six-month supply in a single eye drop bottle, and it can be stored at room temperature. Anytime you're putting an eye drop into a child, or an adult for that matter, if the eye drop's cold, it may be a little more irritating to the eye. So there, it is a you know, benefit to having it stored at room temperature. Another benefit is that you don't have to purchase it every 30 days. And it also can be shipped second day. You know, previously, before we invested in the drug studies, we had to ship everything frozen overnight, which was another expense. So we just wanted to let you know about that and how to put these eye drops in the child. Typically, your you know, uh, doctor is going to prescribe the eye drops, and the most common strengths are 0.1%, 0.2%, or 0.5%. These are the strengths that we have the drug study on. Now, we can make other strengths if your physician feels that's necessary for your child, but in that case, you would be restricted to a 30-day supply. Eye drops, usually very simple. You, know, you just take the top off. And with any eye drop, since it is sterile, on this tip here, you want to avoid touching that with fingers, skin, laying it down on the counter, etc. The hard part is putting it into the child's eye. So, once the child gets used to it, we usually recommend, you know, the child lay with its head, you know, on your lap, looking straight up. And then, with the child looking straight up, you can gently open the lower and upper lid, just turn the vial totally upside down, and drop and the drop should go in. Another way to do this is two parents, one the tackler and the other one the dropper. But that is something usually you may have to do in the initial you know, application of the eye drops. But as the child gets used to using this each night, we hope that you can get to the point where they'll just you know, put their head in your lap and let you put that into their eye. And again, if you have any questions, you can go to our website, which is tccompound.com. We have multiple blogs on myopia and the increased incidence in children. Uh, you can call and speak to any of the pharmacists here. You can call us at 201-447-2020. I'd be happy to discuss it further with you. Thank you.